I'm Jessica Matthews. I'm the director of our children's ministry at the Village of Eden, Uganda. And one of my favorite ministries we have here is the children's home and baby house. Our children's home and baby house is one of the most important ministries that we do at the Village of Eden. Are we only half alive? Embers drifting in the night. Looking, wandering all the time. We see the kingdom. So today, as we were having lunch, I received a call from one of our social workers who stays in communication with the Bajiri government officials and they, the Bajiri government officials have called to say that there was a little boy that had been abandoned at the police department yesterday and so they called us today asking if we could please take the child. Police chief says that he's nine or ten months old. We really don't know anything else about him besides his approximate age and that it's a little boy. Um, we did talk to our house mothers um, just to tell them that we're going to bring back baby. This is how it happens every time we just get about ten minutes notice before we we get a child or we go and pick one. And they were very excited. They said, well, let's get him and we'll decide if he's an infant and he can stay on the infant side or if we'll put him on the toddler side. And they wanna, um, they're already planning how that they're gonna give him more special care and attention so that we can make sure that he's gonna be okay. So we're going there now. He was abandoned in a village just up that way. And um, a, a local woman found him and reported to the local chairman who um, took him to the police station last night around 7 o'clock and then they contacted um, this woman Juliet who is the um, she's she's she works for women's affairs and so the baby stayed with her last night and then she brought him here we don't know his age we don't know his name one of the things that I personally like to do with the child, especially the newborns and the toddlers, is that when I'm holding them, I like to whisper in their ears and just tell them, I'll say, I love you, God loves you, God made you for a reason and you are special. I want them to know this because we have many children that come here from just bad backgrounds. We have some who lost their mother in childbirth. We have others who came to us abused. Others were being, um, the mother tried to kill them, even as an infant. And then others were even abandoned as, an, as infants on the side of the road or in pit latrines. So these children have, they lost a part of their safety that they need. And we want to give them that back, but not from us, but through God. We want to show God's love to these children and just let them know that they are special and they are loved and that God has a plan for them. I like your hat too. Let me see your head. Oh my goodness, look at that smile. <laughs> ah, that's great. He's a happy little baby. Yeah. So we're gonna we're going to name him, okay? We're going to call him Biakatonda Henry. Yes. Henry. Biakatonda Henry. That's his name. Let me see. He'll be okay. One thing that we're striving to do here at the baby house and children's home is to provide our children with a family environment that they live in, that they have that person that they can turn to when they're struggling. They have someone that, that shows them that love and affection that they need, that they 
they are not just in an institution, but this is a home for them, a place that is theirs forever, that they can just learn that they are accepted and they are loved and that this is their home. Let the king